Whoa. Wow. Ooh. Uh, Richard? Oh. Hey. Huh? Richard? Oh, hey. Hey, oh, hey, hey Josh. Hey. Uh, hey, we gotta get back to work, man. So, uh, you know, we gotta get get this, get through this. Got carried away. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> Let me pause my game. All right. Hi, everybody. Richard, back with you again today. In this episode, we're gonna explore some additional common computing devices that are shaping the tech landscape today. We'll start by comparing augmented reality or AR with virtual reality or VR diving into some unique ways each creates immersive experiences. Next, we'll discuss the Internet of Things, or IoT devices, explaining what they are, how they connect to create smarter environments, and we'll look at some real-world examples of IoT devices to see how they're used in everyday life. So let's jump in. Augmented reality, or AR, allows you to visualize how objects might look in a real-world environment. For example, it can help you see how a piece of furniture would fit into a specific space, maybe a couch, into your living room. Think of some of the modern apps today like uh, Snapchat or any other social media uh, platform where you can put a cat on your head uh, with one of the filters. Those are augmented reality and that allows you to see kind of something you maybe wouldn't ordinarily see. On the other hand, virtual reality or VR, like, like I, what I was doing a few minutes ago when I was supposed to be working, um, it, it offers a fully immersive experience that makes you feel as if you're truly present in a totally different setting. You might have seen or tried a pair of VR goggles like, like we have here at maybe an arcade or even at your own home. Gaming is totally different with VR goggles. It truly makes you feel like you are there. Now let's discuss some IoT devices. IoT again stands for Internet of Things. These are everyday objects that connect to the internet to share and receive data. Each IoT device has its own IP address. For now, just imagine that that's like a phone number for that device. We'll talk more uh, later about IP addresses. But that does allow for the device to communicate with other devices. In many ways, IoT devices function similarly to computers, equipped with the capability to process information and interact within a network. An e-reader is a great example of an IoT device. E-readers or electronic reading devices are designed specifically for reading digital books. Examples include Kindles, iPads, and Nooks, which allow users to conveniently access and read books in electronic format. Modern exercise equipment such as treadmills, ellipticals, and step machines also fall into the IoT category these days. You can connect to your favorite social media, you browse the internet, watch a streaming service like Netflix, or even listen to your own favorite music. Wearables also fall into this as well. Wearables such as smartwatches, Fitbits, smart rings. Um, there's so many different examples of these devices, but all of them collect data and they can provide a high level of connectivity for that data. It also generally gives them the opportunity to interact with an app on your phone. These devices have changed modern day computing. IoT Home Assistants and Amazon Alexa help manage various features in your home. They can control devices such as cameras, door locks, and even thermostats, allowing you to adjust settings like security and the temperature. These assistants connect to your home Wi-Fi and can be operated through a central console for easy remote management of your smart home. With so many cool devices to enrich our current computing activities, it makes sense why we love them so much. So much so, it's time for me to go back to my game. <laughs> 